festival was started about four years ago. We're in our fourth year. Uh, it was a, a fundraiser for what started as Round County Christmas, and it was to do arts and crafts and music and food and make it a fundraiser without it feeling like a fundraiser. We have local businesses participating. We have service organizations, volunteer groups, and what they do is they either sell food or they sell arts and crafts, and if you're an arts and crafts vendor, you pay a fee to have a booth. If you're a food vendor, you let's say you sell hot dogs. If you sell a thousand hot dogs, you get five hundred dollars back for your organization and five hundred toward the charity. Also, uh, the carousel. We have a carousel this year. We have uh, we've added a few more games. This year, we have three charities that we're supporting. It's well, nonprofits: the Round County Art Center, Doves of Gateway, which is the domestic violence shelter and the um, more, Downtown Moorhead Incorporated. And at the end of the day, however many tickets we sell, as you know, half is going to some of the, vent, or the food vendors, and some choose to donate all of their proceeds. And so however money, much money we raise, we split it between the three charities. So this is gonna be a significant fundraiser for all of us. And, well, for the Art Center, next month is October, of course, is Halloween. We will be doing an, another fundraiser, which is called Dining with the Dead. It's a dinner theater, and basically what you do is you'll meet here at the Art Center. You'll go up to the old cemetery behind Reed Hall, and the actors will be standing in the cemetery, and they are talking about the people that are buried there. So you're going to hear a little bit of history, a little bit of mis you know, mischief, and uh, just having a good old time. And then you come back here, and you'll have a meal. And if you're still up for some more fun, J.D. Reader will be leading a, I don't want to call it a ghost walk, but it's going to be more of a unusual, odd, suspicious, creepy of Moorhead.